Ruba, Celine. Don't be late, eh? Bye, ma'am. Bye bye. Bye, mommy. Bye, Celine. <coughs> One of the children must have dropped it. What's this? Hmm. Tell me, how do you let things like this go on here in my house? Oh yes, it's always my fault. Sorry about your uncle. Oh yes, thanks. He didn't even believe in AIDS. Not at all. How old was he? About 25. When it comes to AIDS, the world is upside down. Older people bury their kids. Yeah, and kids are often better informed than their parents. Do you think they know everything that we learn about AIDS at school? I doubt it. Therefore, kids must educate their parents. Imagine it. Dad, Mom, open your notebooks. Take dictation. Quickly. <laughs> I just cannot believe that you haven't had that talk with your kids yet about sex and AIDS. It can't be right. Tell me you're joking. The right time hasn't come up yet. The right time is now. What if your son tells you he's HIV positive? And what if your 16-year-old daughter tells you she's pregnant? Huh? I believe she'd learn all that from her husband. Like me. Oh, I don't believe my ears. That attitude leads to young girls becoming mothers. Girls who don't have the slightest idea how their own bodies function. We were never told about those things by our mothers, you know. That is just a lame excuse. The real truth is simple, as you know well. It concerns your children's health, their lives, and you're feeling nervous. I don't know how to do it. Listen, I'll tell you how I went about it, talking to my kids. It's not nearly as difficult as you think. I know you have all the courage and the creativity necessary to talk successfully with your children. Hey, young man. Yes. I'd like some petrol, please. Serve yourself. Getting up early is better than running. Getting up early Better than running. You say that more than half of all Africans living with the AIDS virus were infected before the age of 25. Why is that? There are many factors. One is that those who should provide young people with the necessary information just aren't doing so, especially parents. Young people want their parents to talk to them about AIDS, but that's very rare. Right. A long voyage begins. Just one step. 
But why are boys like that? For that, you'd better ask your father. Mm -hmm. 